Hey, howdy, and a big welcome back to Clem Hawks, folks. I'm Yak, ready to take you through part three of our MLB The Show 23 how to's as you set up your Diamond Dynasty team for success here in the show 23 my friends welcome back to the channel again if you're new to the channel please take the rest of the video to consider uh, sticking around for MLB discussion Clem Hawks now fully an MLB channel but of course having that MLB the show background we figured we'd get you set up for Diamond Dynasty that's always been Clem's passion quite a passion of mine as well so thanks for being here let's get to it though we've got a little bit of a video to go in this one a little bit more complicated this one a first timer for me by the way so stay tuned for that here on the PS5 so this is on the next gen consoles of course friends and we're up in this create tab again right I've shown you how to do the roster vault or uh, sorry logo vault roster vaults in there too that kind of all makes sense we've done how to design a custom jersey you can see that video in the previous video but now we're gonna go over to stadium creator not to create a stadium because that's a whole realm that I have never even messed around with we might have to go there but stadium creator right here and we're gonna go figure out how to find custom stadiums from across the MLB the show 23 next gen platform you see I'm buying stubs here we're getting things going but as we get going, you see there's a couple of options here. My stadiums, create a new stadium, so we could walk through that in a little bit. The vault, my save, so these are stadiums you've saved. And then vault, most popular, you can go in there as well. And then the vault, recent uploads. So just to kind of take an idea and start going. So somebody uploaded how to just basically do a blank canvas for this one. CPU grinding, another idea. Look at that beautiful stadium. That's a beauty, Duffy Stadium here, and there's a whole bunch of uh, great ideas just for how people have set up stadiums, just really low walls, for instance, is something you can do. You can do a ton of different things to just make your stadium as close to uh, whatever you want it to be because those low walls, right, makes it easy for the ground rule, doubles makes it easy for the home runs and all that. And obviously you see this one if you see that little Xbox logo there on your screen. So that's an idea right there. Template stadiums. There's template stadiums that you can honestly do, right? Rec center. You can do a party on. You can do inner parking. You can do uh, not finished fields. Um, there's play area as well. There's a whole bunch of interesting things. Game night you can do. Uh, skyline view. You've got the mountains in behind there. You've got big ink field. You got Valley Play, you got Tourist Trap, uh, Convention Con, I don't know what that's, uh, weird little walls there, and again another weird walled stadium, Sand Colony, you've got International Docks to choose from, Hometown, which is a really uh, small walled big stadium by the looks of it here for sure, Private Ranch, which is just another weird walled one, uh, another really weird walled one here, Northern Stop, uh, Watertown Town, or Water Tower Town, you've got just some weird walls, and then a very deep center field, Holiday Village, so there's a whole bunch available to you here, is basically what I'm trying to show off to you, is that you can do a ton of things with MLB The Show Stadium Creator, or just download a ton of fun ones. You're seeing, I'm just scrolling through everything here. There's a whole bunch of different walls, uh, major canvas, uh, minor canvas, and then there's as well a blank canvas here, which is just kind of how to create a stadium. So what you can do here, we'll go into Stadium Creator now and kind of show off the features of what you can do. This is going to be as much me learning with you learning as well. So here we go. Uh, welcome back to Creative Stadium Stadium. So let's go quickly. See if we can select a wall. So you move around with the right stick. Uh, select prop and what we want, current configuration. You can do a million and one configurations for the wall presets here. 300, 400, 300, right? There's pretty much a whole bunch of 400s available. There's 300, 425, 360, 300, 425, 375. And you can kind of see here, you can kind of make it a mini park as well. 305, 385, 335. There's a whole bunch to choose from when it comes to how you want to build your walls and everything when it comes to building this. Like, look at that, a big time right field, 
small left field um, just this one for instance all the way around right there um, let's just kind of scroll down to see what funky stuff we can find here Ooh, what was that one uh, that one you can kind of go 320 410 310 and you can kind of make everything your own right this one here as well 325 420 320 so if you select this let's keep changes pardon me, <coughs> pardon me a sec there sorry as I'm sneezing up and you can kind of see how that all works out now you've got a different stadium here with uh, walls and you can kind of go here and sorry you can go here and we should be able to go to the wheel or modifier um, lower so you can raise walls even lower walls I believe you can flip wall that's an option with square you can change material to red green brown blue different shade of brown different shade of brown kind of get all that idea and um, raise 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 look at this you can raise it all the way up or you can lower it all the way down with L2 and R2 so you kinda now get what's going on here if you go L2 and R2 you can really make those walls quite mini uh, with this one you could go all the way down as well and have just a big left field so you can smack your doubles but then off to right and center just hit your home runs so let's do that let's keep changes and you can kinda see how small that wall is now and to give an idea here too, we could uh, do, 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 I think there is a modifier. Um, I think there's a wheel that you can add a prop. So we can add a big old jumbotron. Look at this massive thing right here in right field. That's just by doing that. And you're kind of seeing that. You can add that right there and go bing, bang, boom, right there. Let's go. Good enough. So now you've all of a sudden added a big old jumbotron in right field there's a whole bunch to do right and wheel you can kind of see stadium properties you can add camera medium so stadium properties you can change the stadium name to whatever you want mess of a ballpark if we want it for sure and let's go mess of a park there we go so just right you can use the keyboard type it in there as you want and you can kind of choose the stadium location, stadium everything, and this is fully usable within Diamond Dynasty. So there we go. Let's just save this. That's I'm going to give that. You can obviously do a ton of a lot more save changes, and now we've got a stadium to use. So uh, save to slot. We want to save it to this slot. Bing bang, and now we want to file management as well and hit the save. That's all by hitting the options button. So there you go, there is mess of a park. You can duplicate or delete with the options. And if you hit save as well, options, you can hit uh, to figure out all your builder defaults, all that kind of stuff right there. So that's all good to go. Let's exit out of here. Now that we've saved this stadium, we've saved it. And now we can upload it to our vault as well and get it going in Diamond Dynasty if we so choose. Let's just quickly, no rewards for doing any of that, obviously. And now let's go options. We want to upload to the stadium vault. And let's see here. That obviously doesn't look like mess of a park. This stadium has been uploaded to the vault. And now you look at the most um, recent uploads. You kind of get game night there, skyline view, recent uploads. So people are just uploading uh, the default ones by the looks of it. And if you go here, mess. You should be able to now search and there's mess of a park in there with the big jumbotron and the left field and there is mountain mess with a whole bunch of snow mountains and very small fields so just most basic you can find it here yak underscore city underscore gaming mess of a park just by the search results in the vault recent uploads if you so choose and just to give you an idea here too we can go over to diamond dynasty and again if you've been watching the um other stuff here you would see that I still don't have a home jersey done but we do have the away jersey equipped so keep that in mind but as we go here just to give you an idea of um, how this all works I believe logo editor team equipment team name and details I believe now if you go to single player modes you go to play versus CPU uh, let's say the Baltimore Orioles and we want to play as the home team here Let's go team stadiums. Um, let me see if we can get this going. Created stadiums. There we go. 
and there you go you've got a whole bunch of weird created stadiums but you can by L1 R1 ing over you can go to created stadiums and play once you have it downloaded at Mess of a Park. There you go, friends. I'm Tyson or Yak. This is Clem Hawks. Thanks so much for tuning in. I am up on out of here.